Hello folks, it's Bill Neal here. In this video I'm going to show you how to edit waveforms on the Zebratram tremolo panel. Now throughout the video I'm going to be using this knob which is the wave edit knob and there are two things you can do with this knob. You can turn it uh, which normally allows you to select a waveform or you can click you can press it in and that gets you into edit mode now I'm just going to adjust the brightness hold on a sec oh that went the wrong way here we go right so hopefully the display is now easy to read and I hope we're still recording. Yes, we're still recording. Good. Okay, so we've gone into edit mode and this green rectangle has appeared along with some glyphs. These little yellow arrows and the, the numeric label there. Now the green rectangle shows us which segment of the waveform is currently being adjusted. And the glyphs show us what aspect of that segment is being adjust, adjusted. And if I turn the knob now, I'm selecting dis different aspects or different segments to adjust. I can also, uh, if I go far enough, there we go, I can also adjust waveform properties like the name of the waveform. I can copy the waveform, I can delete the waveform, and I can adjust the number of taps. I can also add a segment. And now I'm back to the beginning again. So there's a kind of a there's a kind of a loop of a circuit, if you like, of parameters that we can change. And to begin with, you're you're looking at the parameters for the segments and then later on you're looking at the parameters for the waveform the name the number of taps that kind of thing okay so let's start with that first segment now you'll notice that the first segment is a straight line and the second one is a, a wiggle there are two kinds of segments lines and signs um, so that obviously a straight line. This one is a sine wave, um, which is a kind of a mathsy thing for anybody who is curious. Um, let's let's first of all look at the duration. Now, the, as we're selecting the parameters, the the screen here will tell you what is going on. So when you're turning the knob, you're always selecting the parameter. And then if you press the knob down, you can adjust the duration. Of the segment. Right. Now, <clears throat> I suppose it's worth explaining what this little numeric display is for. Well, since the duration of a segment relates to tempo, um, it's important to know exactly how long something is. So this is currently a third of the length of the whole waveform, 0.5 out of 1.5. And if I increase it, a bit. 1.0 out of 2.0, so that means it's half of the duration of the waveform. Now let's look at the the start. When we adjust the start of a of a, a straight line segment, it just does this. So that means it'll start loud. And that means it'll start quiet. 
Same thing goes for adjusting the end. Now we can also move this segment. I'll try and get my thumb out of the way, sorry about that. There we go, we can move it. <clears throat> and it kind of wraps around, so you can, it, I'm just I'm just turning the knob clockwise here. And it keeps shuffling from one end to the other. I can also delete a segment. I'm not going to do that just yet, but we'll get to it in a while. Let's have a look at adjusting a sign segment. So here again we can adjust the length, the duration, sorry. We can adjust the minimum and the maximum, but before we do that I just want to show you what happens when we adjust the start. So this is more of a sine wave than it was before. And you know, we can decrease or increase the angle of the end of the sine wave there. And it goes up in 90 degree jumps. Oh, now let's look at the adjusting the min and the max. So we can't adjust the minimum downwards, but we can adjust it upwards. And we can adjust the maximum downwards. Sorry, what I mean is you can't adjust it below zero. That's it. That's as far as it'll go. And again, we can move that. I won't. I won't bother you by. Illustrating that. Let's um, let's scroll back through the parameters here, and here we go. This is what I was after. Add a segment. So let's add um, let's add a segment here, and we can add either a sign or a line, or we can change our minds and not add anything. But let's add a sign segment. There we go. And it's just added a default sign segment at the end of the waveform. Now let's use this one to illustrate deleting. So if we want to delete this segment it asks us to confirm and it's gone. Right now let's Let's have a look. We can we can adjust individual letters. It's a bit of a tiresome thing. It's best I could manage with a single knob instead of a keyboard. So on the on, on the character set here we've got we've got the uh, the English alphabet as you'd expect and you can kind of you can skip forward a bit with that. It's in, so it starts off in capitals. And then it moves to lowercase, and you can skip forward through the lowercase things. There we go. And then after the the lowercase, we get a space, <coughs> and then some numbers. Well, we get all the numbers. Not, <laughs> not giving you just a random selection of numbers. So then after the numbers, we've got some punctuation marks. Not too many, because you know, don't want to burden the person with extra scrolling. So, and then we, we, we get back round to the alphabet again. Um, so, that's adjusting the name. And then after that, we've got a few, a few more, a few more things we can do. And I just want to show copy waveform. So there we go, we're going to copy the waveform. Just got to click again to confirm. So now if we, we, we're back out of edit mode again. 
and if we look we can see the original here and the copied version the copied and edited version so copy waveform is a good way of tinkering with something seeing if you like it and then you can a b them or in this case you can a c them ha ah. um let's look at, let's just finish off this editing thing though because we've got a couple more things to show we've got we'll get we've done copy waveform there's delete waveform and there's adjust taps let's adjust the taps so the minimum is one and then you can increase them one by one and what that means is right for this oh, i've got five here so if i was in a in a five four piece of music then I'd tap one, two, three, four, five, and then it would come back to the beginning. Uh, I can't imagine actually doing that with this waveform. This is this is just a a demo waveform. Um, what else do we want to do? Oh, I haven't actually shown you how to save yet. Let's do that. So when you're saving you can you can actually discard your changes. So if you, I, I think what would happen is I would just lose those um, those tap changes here. Yep, there we go. Let's go back into edit mode. Let's change the taps and we'll save. Okay, so now we've got wave A, wave C with two taps. And then finally, let's let's look at what happens when we delete a waveform. I'm going to delete this one now because that doesn't actually look very useful. Okay, so it's gone. We've got we're back to just having wave A. I hope that was useful folks and I hope my thumb didn't get in the way too much during that video. Um, thanks for watching.